This is not a normal Tuesday morning in Ashland. Officers lining the streets of a residential neighborhood. Usually like a cute little safe town. You don't usually see that around here. But neighbors of the mobile home on Mistletoe Road say it raises some red flags. If you've ever read his signs on his property, seems to be uh, quite a bit of a loner, maybe a little bit anti-government. Officers were called to the home around 10 this morning for an officer-involved shooting. Sorry guys, that's what I've got right now. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office would not say who fired a weapon or if anyone was hurt, but witnesses say someone was taken from the home by ambulance. Look pretty intense and serious. I mean, you don't usually see people in fatigues and this and that. Like, there's a lot of people. While deputies will not say who was involved, Federal court documents from 2012 show a man named Earl Harris was the owner of the property and fighting foreclosure. He even filed a lawsuit against U.S. Bank and Jackson County Judge Ron Grensky, saying Grensky was biased and that his foreclosure hearing was nothing more than a, quote, foreclosure mill. Property records show the bank took legal control of the home in September 2013, but people who work at nearby Blackstone Audio say Harris still lives there. He had a lot of signs up there basically stating that he did not like the government, he did not like the mailman, he did not like smart meters when people walk by or get too close to, to him. He uh, tends to get his gun out. 